The latest version of Musix had OSC and MIDI integration added into it. In order to do that, we can go to the instrument selection, and there's two options. One's for MIDI, one's for OSC. Our MIDI is currently using channel one. In order to use MIDI and have it connected up to your machine, you're going to need uh, a program called DS MIDI Wi-Fi, which you can download, uh, find the web page there. It's free, you put it on your computer, and then you can communicate with MIDI programs on your computer. Uh, it does it over wireless, so we suggest that you put the wireless card on your computer into ad hoc mode. There's instructions on our website. In order to do that, uh, it gives you kind of the fastest, lowest latent latency way to do it. So we have some options for our hexagons. We can adjust two different parameters. One is the horizontal parameter of a hexagon, and the other one is the vertical parameter. So the options we can adjust, we can adjust whether to send horizontal messages to uh, MIDI. We can adjust first movement. So this is the first time you touch the key. So currently, horizontally, the first time we touch the key, we don't send any extra messages. It's not really recorded. However, on movement, so after we touch the key, we're going to send an instrument pitch bend to uh, MIDI, to whatever program, MIDI program we're using. Some of the messages you can send are, you can send after touch, control change messages, instrument pet, pitch bend, or nothing. Uh, as well, you can adjust the sensitivity of moving uh, horizontally. You can adjust a start threshold. So this is a threshold from which you have to move farther then in order to actually activate on movement and we go between zero and a hundred percent so if we have a start threshold of zero as soon as we move even just a tiny bit to the side it's gonna start our pitch bend we're gonna put this back to about 25 and we can also set it relative to first touch what that means is our instrument pitch bends will be relative to where we first touched rather than to where we are in the hexagon so that's horizontal by default, our vertical messages, our first touch is velocity, and on movement is nothing. So depending on how high or how low we touch in the hexagon is going to determine how loud the note is when it's played. So we'll just go out of MIDI. Uh, there are also OSC settings. Uh, the first time you go in, uh, we can go in, and we would have to set the IP address of the computer that we're connecting to, the port. And there's a number of different formats that we can send OSC messages in. And we can see it gives us just kind of a brief example of the format that we should expect to see. Uh, these two are rather standard. If we use location info combined or separated, we can actually get the location that we're touching within the hexagon. So if you're decent with using OSC or using your own program, you can actually just take essentially the X and Y coordinates within those hexagons and map it to whatever you want. So you can essentially use, uh, use Musix as a straight up uh, touch display in which you can control what happens when you map different keys. We're just going to go back to MIDI here. So I have this connected right now just to GarageBand playing a big electric lead. So we can play normally. And we can also play quieter. We can play louder. We can again adjust that sensitivity if we want. So we're going to make, oh, I need the vertical. We're going to make our first touch less sensitive and see what happens. So now we're playing pretty much the same volume. We're going to make it much more sensitive this time. And you can see that the volume changes. So as for horizontal, we can press our note and then wiggle our finger sideways. We can hear our pitch bend. As well, we can do it for multiple fingers. 